So you might have heard of this thing called Claude Code. It is something that you can run from the terminal and it's really good at coding. It's so popular, in fact, that we started getting questions about it. How could you maybe use Claude Code together with Marimo? In this video, I'm gonna show you a technique that works quite well in general. It also allows you to see all the updates that Claude makes live right from within your browser. Okay, so as a first point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call Marimo and I'm gonna tell it to edit this file I've got locally, uh, demo demo.py. But I'm gonna add this one flag which is this one, watch. And what this is going to do is it's gonna keep an eye on that file and whenever it makes an update, it's gonna update the browser view live. So let's run this. And there we are, Remo just loaded, that all looks good. And then I'm gonna go into this new tab and I'm just gonna call Claude from here. And what I could do now is I could ask, can you see the at demo demo.py file? Nice auto completion there. After a little while, it read the file and it gives us a response. It can confirm that it's a Marimo app. So Claude understands that. And it can also see that there's a couple of cells. There's the first cell that imports Marimo. There's another cell that has this markdown and there's an incomplete simulate function. And what I could do at this point is I could ask it like, could you implement the simulate function here? Question mark. Now this file doesn't have a lot of context to go on. so. I will also tell Claude to feel free to ask me questions first if something is unclear. It asked for a clarifying question. Should I simulate the function in a single game or multiple games? Do you want it to return where the player wins? Okay, so multiple games. I want to log long term behavior and I want to compare both strategies. Okay. It's gonna go now and update the code. I can go ahead and say yes. And boom, right away, it starts filling in the gap. There's a whole bunch of code being written now. And while I check that out, it seems that it wants to add a new cell. In this case, it wants to have a cell that shows some of the simulation results. So I can also add that uh, just for dramatic effects. Let me scroll down. Let me hit yes so we can see the update. And boom. And as you can see, we have a pretty nice flow when it comes to Claude and Marimo playing nice together. So yeah, that's the whole trick. You just use the watch flag and then Claude code can be a nice interactive buddy. In my experience, you can get a bunch of mileage out of it. It works pretty well. The only caveat is that you do probably want to start with a Marimo file that has a couple of cells defined. There's something about having a example of the file structure that really helps Claude understand how it's supposed to proceed. If you're just going to start with a blank file, it might start hallucinating just a little bit more. So that's the one caveat I would keep in the back of your mind. But having said that, if you are a Claude user, this trick totally works.